I'm going to show how to check and adjust the gas pressure. Uh, right now I'm working on a gas package unit. This pretty much goes the same for any gas furnace at your house or residence as well. The only parts I should really need to do this is a flathead screwdriver, a manometer, I prefer a digital one, and Allen wrenches. This cap right here will just need to be opened. This is underneath here. There'll be another little adjustment that will adjust the spring that can change the gas pressure. We are on natural gas. Most gas valves will tell you what pressure they want or the unit specs will tell you what pressure is needed. This particular one is showing right here 3.3 inch water column. If it doesn't have something a pretty good rule of thumb it's typically 3.5 inch water column. Um, this is just a single um, stage gas valve. A two stage gas valve would have two adjustments. When you start out you want to make sure your manometer is zeroed out. So I'm going to zero it out. This is a dual port manometer so I'm on port one so I just want to make sure that I am on port one uh, which I am. The next step I will do is I will jumper out the heat on this particular unit to get it to kick on so I can see what my gas pressure is. I can only read the gas pressure when it's actually in a call for heat. So I just jumpered it out now and I'm going to wait for it to fire off to see what kind of pressure I get. So currently I'm at 3.5 1 inch water column. That's uh, pretty close. So if I want to adjust this, I will go right in here and go counterclockwise on that little screw right there. And that should adjust it down to 3.3 inches water column. So I just adjusted the gas pressure. So jumping around between 3.29 and 3.3. So here I'm, I feel pretty comfortable and good with my gas pressure. That is how you set the gas pressure on a gas valve. And lastly, I'll just add, always make sure you're going off the specs for your unit. Every unit can be a little different. Most of them, good rule of thumb, are about the same, but always go off of what your actual unit wants. Uh, if you have the gas pressures wrong, you could cause some serious damage to your equipment, so make sure you know what you're doing.